usually when you first start your own business the first stage yeah. of becomes the hardest stage um correct me if i'm wrong um, <laughs> in that stage is where especially sneaker uh, sneaker tab is definitely a f- brand new concept to the world right mm-hmm. it is a first uh, yeah. concept coming into the world and when you bring out such a concept bring out such creativity the responsibility lies in you to create the demand in the society as well right mm-hmm. for the first sales how to get it uh, get the product and the service across to the customers how did you do it what are the marketing strategies you use to create this demand in the world okay so for me there was uh, two two things that really you know that i needed to look at one was b to c definitely how to sell the product and get the, uh, the get the point across to the customers and then the other one was b to b because um one month into the business well, like i bought shoes at retail i used to walk into stores fill my like car up with shoes and just like walk out right mm-hmm. um once you get past like 50 60 subscribers in the first month you realize this is not going to work <laughs> you can't you physically can't do that right and you're not uh, you're not going to find like the best product you need for the best prices um at, at that point so i needed to make sure that um i needed to be direct with all the brands we work with right so so b2b came into play so then now it's a brand new company and the sneaker industry though you know like marketing wise like commercially it looks very like forward thinking but like the sales aspect yeah. it's was still in the 70s like people you know brands require you to have a retail store to get get an account and you need to be in the business it's like a chicken before the egg kind of thing which is like so weird like a new new company or a new like store can get an account without being in business for so long i'm like okay so if you're supposed to start a company and then like if you if you're supposed to be in business for 3 years like what product are you going to sell so it's, it's it's a really like stupid like dinosaur way of thinking in in the industry which is which is kind of changing right now as like young people like climb up the ladder so so i needed to make sure b2b we need to pitch to these brands and be direct with them so on the sales front and b2c while um you know keeping our subscription base active and delivering people a good product um obviously with that $700 i was pretty spread pretty thin um i i think i did everything myself like i did the website like i did all the photo shoots like i, did, I didn't hire anyone i think i hired like one indian guy and paid him like 50 bucks from like india to to india to like probably program some job hours something like that yeah i needed to find creative ways to like market to the public so i used influencer marketing which you know influencer marketing is like a very common term right now like celebrities uh, <laughs> yeah so celebrities promoting stuff on the internet like especially for sri lanka like you know it's it's blown up but like 6 years ago even in like north america it was it was not a new concept but mm-hmm. a lot of companies did not do that so i'm like oh, okay this is cool like i can find um the top like 20 or like 50 sneaker channels send them free stuff and you know they'll they'll promote it on their channels kind of thing because that's mm-hmm. you know that's that's your that's your customer base that's where your target market is right like so rather than like doing your traditional advertising um this is the best way to do it so your roi turns out to be like much better that way so so back in the day sneaker channels were like not flooded like now there's like thousands of sneaker channels so um back then there were probably like 50 people but it some people ask for money so i didn't go for the guys who ask for money so all of the free guys i sent free product to and, uh, and then it just happened from there i used to reach out to like all of the blogs like manually sending hundreds of emails like hundreds of phone calls and so you know probably two of those blogs will pick us up uh but now it's like everything's changed now like we're doing digital marketing you know instagram facebook ads mm-hmm. and, like a combination of a bunch of things uh but yeah so you have to be really resourceful as an entrepreneur when you start your business and rather than looking at others for solutions i think it's better if you come up with the solutions yourself and try to do as much as possible yeah you can easily like you you don't have to pay what people don't realize is you don't have to pay for services you can easily um you have equity in your company i'm not talking about 10 15% but you can give someone like 5% for in exchange of like developing an app for you 
like there those deals happen because i know people who do 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 it like to, till today like one of the one of the one of my you know subscribers like fans followers whoever reached out to me about like a project which would like cost him like a lot of money so i connected him with a developer who who's done a bunch of my stuff so they're working out an equity deal right so you can is it's just people are just scared to ask like you just have to ask like still to this day there are many times i get rejected uh but it you know if you don't ask you don't know right what what do you got to lose so that's what i like i'd say to all the young entrepreneurs like work out deals like you can